good everyone, I'm Venom Mister, and I am bringing you high level ZVT between a top tier Canadian GSL caliber player, Scarlet the Queen of Blades, up here in the top left of Habitation Station. Her opponent is going to be the Prince of Marines, the successor to Marine King Prime, and one of the best micro Terrans in the world, it is Maru. Currently on Gen Air, formerly of Prime, this guy is exceptional. He has some of the best bio micro in the world. He has some of the best dropping multitask with Medivax in the world. He's the kind of player who can just brutalize people with his micro and can go above and beyond what a Marine and a Marauder should be able to do and blow his opponents out that way. Now a lot of people consider Maru extremely fun to watch and the reason for this is because he is plain and simple one of the few players who can just brute force their way through games with micro. Usually pe players need a combination of micro and macro but Maru is the kind of guy who can get it done with just micro. I mean he can really blow people away with these brilliant displays so it'll be interesting to see if that can be accomplished against Scarlet's Roach build which she is doing right now of course with six drones on gas so Scarlet is going for a Roach rush and these Roaches will transform into Ravagers and poke at this front door this is a strong build against fast expanding players but if the Terran doesn't play too greedy oftentimes we can see them defend it so roaches are on the way for Scarlet. Her overlord pops. And it is worth noting that I'm using a suboptimal mic setup here. Usually the audio is way better, but I'm having motherboard issues and having to build a new PC to rectify that. So the audio on the mic for the next few videos will not be up to par, but it will be fixed soon. A couple ravagers out here for Scarlet and roaches as well. Expand of course already being started for Maru. Now if this expansion can be delayed up until the point where Scarlet's Roach Ravager arrives then it could be devastating for Maru. And Maru is going to start a marine, start a bunker, and he has a factory as well. Scarlet's units are marching across the map. They are incredibly slow. But Maru has a reaper. He sees what's coming. He knows what's up. And he's repairing this reactor. Maru is making a marine, <clears throat> three at a time, but this bunker is going to be stopped. And Maru is going to continue production here, and it will finish very briefly, but it might die immediately, and it does. And SCVs are going to fight Scarlet here, and if Scarlet presses up into the main, she can get trapped. Maru kills one Ravager, forced to friendly fire itself, another one dies at the base of the ramp. And Scarlet suddenly running north into Maru's base with not a lot of hope here. Because once this Ravager dies, well I mean she has a few roaches coming across the map. But there's not a whole lot really here for Scarlet. If we go to income, she just has 13 workers. Maru is restarting production on this CC. And as soon as this finishes he can just lift it off. So Scarlet is pressing forward here with more Ravagers, but a Cyclone is out. A Cyclone is very good against this Ravager composition. And three Ravagers are out here for Scarlet. She's going to want to press up the ramp, but this very valuable Overlord can be pressed. And just three Ravagers here, one of them very low. Maru firing away with Cyclone Marine. And two of the Ravagers low, one of them goes down. That is huge for Scarlet because she is completely all in. Notice she's making two more Ravagers at her natural and trying to kill these Maru Marines, but Maru does not miss Micro, guys, he's too good. So Scarlet narrowly saves her Overlord, and of course this Overlord has to be placed very close to get vision. If we see Scarlet really needs vision on this high ground to drop Crocive Bile. But Maru is repairing a Cyclone, phenomenal Micro here by Maru to not piss away units. And here we see again Maru trying to snipe the Ovi and he accomplishes it. And now Scarlet is supply block, so she's in a tough situation here. Maru 
doesn't take any damage there as a cyclone just avoided it. He has Marines at the top of the ramp. Scarlet supply blocked. All of her ravagers are so low. This is going to be hard to do anything. As you see, a few roaches are here, but the roaches' time of being useful is falling away very quickly. As you see, a ravager fall at the base of the natural ramp. And Maru is defending here at the top. He's doing a very good job, and Scarlet's in a very precarious spot. She hasn't really done any damage. Remember, she doesn't have any drones at all. She's over doubled here. So she absolutely has to win with this push. It's one base versus two. She's going to go up this ramp, throw up a few corrosive bile. Maru's going to run away, and Scarlet GG. So that's the game. Make sure you like and sub if you enjoyed it.